color. We don't believe on ourselves, but obviously a, a new generation has another responsibility to change this kind of paradigm to another level whereby we have to capitalize on our abilities in Africa. A brief trip into the future with inventor Maxwell Chikumbuzo. He's claiming a scientific breakthrough with this green energy technology, an electric car which he says converts radio frequencies into energy. Zimbabweans are capable of spearheading game-changing, first-of-a-kind innovations that challenge the world's traditional ways of doing things. This is one of Chikumbuzo's groundbreaking innovations. He calls it a self-powering electric vehicle. Mm. Powered. The power train, we did it uh, in-house, uh, which makes it uh, the, fa the first electric vehicle in the world that drives without needing recharging sy systems and process. Mm -hmm. As you are aware that in, in patents, anything that violates the laws of physics is not an industrial applicable solution. They classify it as a perpetual motion. The man who fooled a nation. Imagine inventing something so revolutionary that it shatters the laws of physics. A car that never needs fuel. So with this car you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. A machine that generates free electricity out of thin air. A technology so powerful that even Silicon Valley and China can't compete. That's exactly what Sangolani Maxwell Chikumbuzo claimed to have done. He called it the Scythe FEV, a car powered entirely by radio waves, no fuel, no electricity, no need to recharge. The world was in awe. Zimbabwe's president personally backed him. Some even believed he was being targeted by powerful elites who didn't want free energy to exist. But there was just one problem. It was all fake. Who is Sangulani Maxwell Chikumbuzo? Chikumbuzo grew up in Harare, Zimbabwe. He never went to college, never studied engineering. Yet somehow, he claimed to be an inventor with groundbreaking technologies. He founded a company called Scythe Technologies, which supposedly built the Scythe FEV, fuel-free electric vehicle a self-powering car running on radio waves. The Greener Generator, a device that generates infinite electricity without fuel. A hypersonic energy device, a mysterious machine that supposedly defies physics. And despite having zero patents, zero peer-reviewed studies, and zero real investors, Chikumbuzo managed to convince Zimbabwe's government that he was a genius. But how did he pull it off? the fuel-free car hoax. In early 2025, a video went viral showing Chikumbuzo demonstrating his fuel-free car to President Menangagwa. The headlines were insane. Zimbabwe invents a car that never needs charging. Chikumbuzo surpasses Tesla in Silicon Valley. African genius creates the world's first free energy vehicle. People started believing that Zimbabwe could become the next global tech hub. But there was just one problem. Journalists started investigating. And what they found was shocking. Exposing the Lee Zimbabwean fact checkers, reverse searched Chikumbuzo's so-called invention and found that one, the Scythe FEV was actually a Kaiyi X3 Pro, a Chinese electric vehicle that runs on a lithium ion battery. Two, the free energy device he showed off it was a $109 power bank sold on Amazon. Three, his so-called hypersonic generator, also from Amazon. Journalists like Hopewell Chinono, a Harvard fellow and award-winning Zimbabwean reporter, exposed Chikumbuzo's fraud. But here's what's crazy. The Zimbabwean government still backed him. Why? Because they were desperate. Why did the government fall for it? Zimbabwe has suffered from fuel shortages power outages and economic collapse for years. A fuel-free car sounded like a dream come true. 
So, when Chikumbutso came along, claiming he had solved Zimbabwe's energy problems, the government wanted to believe him. And this isn't the first time corrupt politicians have fallen for tech scams. In 2017, Nigerian officials invested in a fake invisible car scam. In 2014, Kenya's government funded a non-existent nuclear energy project. In 2009, South African leaders were tricked into backing a fraudulent water-powered car. Chikumbuto played the system perfectly, tapping into national pride, government desperation, and people's love for a good conspiracy theory. And that's why he got away with it. The psychology behind tech scams. Why do people fall for hoaxes like this? It all comes down to hope, desperation and trust in authority. When someone powerful like a president or government official endorses an idea, people are more likely to believe it. And when an idea taps into people's deepest desires, like free energy or limitless transportation, it bypasses critical thinking. From free energy machines to perpetual motion hoaxes, scammers have always preyed on human hope. And Chikumbutso, he just followed the same playbook, the final takeaway. At the end of the day, this wasn't just about a fake car. This was about how one man fooled a nation. Chikumbutso promised the impossible. And for a moment, people believed it. But here's the real lesson. Whenever someone claims they've solved the world's biggest problems overnight, whether it's free energy, miracle medicine, or a get-rich-quick scheme, always fact-check first. Because if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Stay curious. Stay skeptical. Be creative and innovative. Zimbopreneur.